iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to install DHCP on Windows Server 2008 R2. All right, we go ahead and go to Add Roles. Go to next and go ahead and install DHCP server. We don't want to install the wins right now. I have a tutorial on that also. All right, we're about to add the scope. You can call whatever you want. Call the home network. Now, the starting scope, you want to make sure when you make a scope, you want to make sure that it is not in the same scope as any other DHCP server out. Right now, my router is my only DHCP server. So I'm going to go ahead and put some numbers out of there. And then this is going to be an ending. I'll probably just give it to be able to connect six computers through DHCP. Now let's go with 10. All right. They already gave me the subnet. Fault gateway. Optional if you want to put it. But we can go ahead and put it. Your default gateway is usually your router or whatever gets you to the outside world. Uh, for now, you can add, also put it something that doesn't go to the outside world. If you just want to test, you can do like a 10, 10, 10, and then put a 10, 10, 10 to what 20 or so, and it'll give you DHCP. It'll give you the IP addresses allocated if you don't want to get to the outside world. But since we want to get to the outside world, we're gonna go ahead and get what my router was giving me. So we press OK. Press next. Uh, I don't want version six on right now. You can have it if you want to. Um, version six is the new set of IP addresses that we're going to be using soon because we ran out of IP addresses, regular IP addresses, IPv4. So um, eventually, we're all going to be moving over to version six. I'm going to use my current credentials for my administrator account. You have to be on the administrator account to do this. I'm going to install the DHCP server. Okay, once you finish installing, let's go double check and make sure that DHCP is turned on. Sometimes it's not turned on. You have to turn on yourself. So we go ahead. You go to DHCP. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Make sure if you had a check mark, so that means it's on and ready. So let's go test it. I have a client machine that's already connected to the domain, and what I'm gonna do is a, a release and renew of the IP address, and go ahead and get an IP address from this server. So hopefully, it'll get a a number dot one six zero or one six one. Let's go ahead and go to our client machine. All right, we're at my client machine right now. My client machine is it does have a static IP address, so we can go ahead and go 
since I don't have administrative rights right now because the name I'm under, we're going to go ahead and log in. Remember, if you watch my other tutorial, this should come up if you're not logged into administrator. So remember to put your full qualified domain name in there, slash, then administrator, because if you don't, you will be logging as administrator on the computer itself, not the domain. So go ahead, put your password in. All right, double click. We can go ahead and tell it get an automatic IP address from here. We'll keep this down there for right now. We'll keep the DNS down there. Press OK. Now it's identifying. OK, now we're going to check to see if we got IP address either through 160 through 70. So let's go ahead and go to the command line. Let's check our IP address. And there you have it. We have the first computer will be assigned the first number. So you got that 192.168.106.160. And the next computer we add will get 161 and so on and so on. So now you have successfully installed DHCP on server 2008. Um, Rashad Ewing, thanks for watching.